Okay. Greetings, everyone. This is First and Twenty Seven Fifty Three, uh, with the next episode of Making History: The Great War, playing as the Japanese Empire. I'm doing this back to back from the previous uh, episode that I did, so I haven't. I'm still feeling um, not a hundred percent comfortable with uh, back to playing this game again, and a lot of concepts that I've probably forgotten. I will not click that this time. I think last time I clicked that. One big issue we were having is nationalism, right? I should look into the government a little bit. Constitutional monarchy. What is that? Financial. Radical democracy. Theology. National support. We have some extra cash. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Fun this a little bit more. Whoa, that was a little too much. Was that not at 118? I don't know where that was. Oh, we just lost. That was at 181, I thought. Yikes, I don't know what that was. I do want to add. Alright, that's 30%. 125. What? Alright, I just funded a little bit more towards uh, educational funding, propaganda, and uh, religious support, which I'm hoping will mollify this theology, nationalism, and democracy. We'll see if that works. In the meantime, I think I made all my moves last turn, so we'll just go ahead and click uh, last uh, series, last episode, sorry, so we'll go ahead and click that. Again, hopefully by now I've started a few new series on my channel because of some uh, game purchases I've made in the la at the last Steam sale. Sectarian Unrest. Oh, God. Treaty proposed status quo with the Republic of China. No, we're going to take over all of China. Reject that. There will be no status quo for you. You will be ended. What is this? China is going to be subjugated. Now, what to do with that subjugation is the question. Merge all these together. Four armies. You've got one. I will actually split this in half. And we're going to send one group here to defend, and another here to conquer. In the meantime, we'll have this battle finished soon. Let's bring them into... Ooh, it looks like Formosa has gone on its own, and is retaking uh, these islands down here. Okinawa would be next. Merge all units together. That's three infantry. There's only one cavalry there. It's been bombarded. Looks like we're going to win this battle. Major army advancing here. We're going to capture this city where I thought they have. They don't have too many cities left. Coal mine. It's, whoa, we got to go all the way around like that? No, 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 no. I thought you could just cross the river. Cancel the order. Why is that? I don't know why that is. Merge units here. That's not that. We want to merge them all. Okay. I think this war with China is going to be over pretty soon, and then Japan is going to be a major world power at that point. We just have to make sure we can hold on to all the territory. It's going to be the trick.
And then we'll have to uh, consider how we're going to extend our influence outside our region. Right now we're a regional power. Conquering China, I think, could make Japan a global power. Damn. Where are these places? I feel like we're going to have a rebellion up here sometime soon. But I'm going to continue to deal with uh, finishing off the war with China before anything else. We are going to conquer all of China. There's not going to be anything they can do about it. They can't resist us much longer. What do they have left here as far as divisions? Republic of China is down to 12 militia and 8 cavalry. Well, we've got 12 militia on our own, 41 infantry, 1 engineers, 6 light cavalry, and 2 mountain inf mounted infantry. Five Marines. I think we've got a win here. Cruiser rules. Sink enemy shipping only. We can change that, huh? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to restrict the warfare. Stick that. I thought, I thought I'd see my options before I went right to my option. That's how you get the Americans involved in the war, and you don't want that. Constitutionalist. We said that. Production is at 63%. Mass production is at 63%. Civil disobedience. Where is that? Right there. I've got a lot of troops there. Merge. Where's the other one? Down there. I've got troops there too. That's my recruitment base. I'm going to keep some soldiers there. I don't know if, what to do to improve uh, disobedience in a single province. And this turn now, we're coming to the end of 1912, approaching 1913. China will be defeated before 1914, before the war begins. Although steel is still an issue. Even though I made that steel distillery, we have no, we're running short on steel. Region conquered. Seems like Republic of China keeps conquering all these regions, but where where are they doing it? Oh, down there. Okay. Split this group. Move quickly here. Textile mill. And actually, I'm going to start moving these guys in that direction. There we go. There doesn't seem to be anybody left there. They seem to be completely wiped out. Perfect. There's three divisions left there. keep that fight going. China is ours. Japan is conquering China. Full force here. I'll organize things once the war is over. Priority right now is to win the war. Oh, I need to still still. Gotta remember to get some steel on the next turn. No steel is a pain in the butt. 
China keeps capturing regions here. State of Mongolia recognizes is established diplomatic relations with Tibet. It's fine. I don't want Tibet. I'm not worried about that at all. That looks like an even match. What's going on here? Divide and conquer. This is almost too easy. Next turn. 1913 already. Ah, I forgot the steel again. I gotta remember this time. Sectarian unrest. Buddhist riots. What are we looking here? Steel. Do steel first before I forget, right? Trade. Nobody's got any steel. British India, we are buying. These are offers to sell. Portuguese Republic. We don't have good diplomatic influence with them. Sweden. Very good. And now United Kingdom. Very good, plus two. Uh, I have a lot of cash. Germany. Whew. Brazil seems pretty neutral. Shouldn't be a problem with them. Let's do South Africa too. I want to align myself with the British, not with the Central Powers. Kingdom of Spain, Kingdom of Italy. Oh, Italy is with the, uh, the Triple Entente. Perfect. Now we've got 43 steel. All right, that should rebuild our surplus. Cash, we spent a lot of money, but we're still making, we still have a surplus of cash. And everything seems to be worked out pretty well there. And it looks like... China will fall there. That's almost done. We're now winning that battle. That's a tight one. We're definitely winning that one. Okay, China is capitulating. Split this fleet up. Enter Port Nagasaki. Three infantry here, load onto transport. We'll try to start taking back these islands. Alright, victory in the north. Northern and middle China are taken. Now it's up to southern China. Last resistance. War has been declared. The Ottoman Empire versus the Emirate of Najd. Trade agreement between Brazil and Japan canceled. Alliance signed. Ottoman Alliance was founded. It's like them and... I don't know who that is. More infantry recruitment. Lots of infantry recruitment. That's not what I wanted.
Vents. There. Okay. Looking very good. China is about to fold. Very little resistance left in China. It's going to give us a lot of resources. Manpower, natural resources, and manufacturing industrial capacity. They keep moving around though. Reject. Research project complete. Our nation has successfully finished mass production. Cement armor. Armored cruiser canned food project. I think that sounds good to me. Mass production machine age. Ah, steel plant. I'm grabbing that one. Okay. Okay. Can't go there. Sweeping into all Chinese territories here. Got them outnumbered. Got them outnumbered. And we've got them outnumbered. A lot of fleets here. Just merge them. Load on the transport. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's alright. Exit and patrol. Command of seas in the China Sea, East China Sea. We'll retake these islands. Looks like they're going to take that one. Tightening the noose here. I feel like there might have been some resistance. They can't have too much left, China. Brazil and it annexes Contestados. That rebellion is over. Military access granted. Looks like they have more troops now. A lot of these contests should be over soon. That's infantry, right? Move them there. Against militia. Shouldn't be a problem. Fortieth Army Split Split these groups up. Okay, this game's going this contest is going to be over soon. Very soon, Japan will have control of all of China. 1913, becoming a major player 
in World War II. Or World War One, if it breaks out. We have a huge army right now. That guy's breaking away, but we have one regiment left that can catch him. Feels slightly unorganized. One, one, split this up. We've won two infantry with the artillery, and the rest of this group is going to cross. And that should take care of that. Yes. Sectarian unrest still. Trade agreement canceled. We still have a surplus of steel. Navy merchant, mer merchant raider produced. They want a treaty. We are rejecting. I want complete surrender of this nation of Japan, of China. these troops do I this is a uh, Formosa there we go okay Nicaragua. This is almost over. A lot of rebellions going on here. Now we have a negative steel production again. Where are you going? Cut them off, hopefully. Looks like they're moving there. Should be good. I really just want to end this conflict with China. Have control over all of China. And then figure out how I'm going to go about uh, organizing industrialize and demographically and politically. Oh boy. Financial aid. Canada is accepting fin requesting financial aid. I will accept get good relations with Canada. That's perfectly fine. That's not our fleet. Um, enter the porch. Oh, 
Okay. Gotta try to finish off this guy. This should be over fairly quickly. Two or three more turns, I'll have China defeated. As long as there's no rebellion. I'll be fine. Three to one there. Twelve to six there. Stay there. Looking pretty good. Boy, check that. I think we've got pretty much everything. Sectarian uprising, I gotta deal with this somehow. Oh boy. I got a lot of money. Might as well go into the government and spend. Sectarian. Theologian. Theological. And propaganda. Alright, spent a lot of money on education, propaganda, and religious support. Hopefully that will quell some of the rebellions. What do we got here? There's five left. Merge all of these together. Now there's four. Advance. Unload that army there. Cavalry. Advance. And we'll send that cavalry too. Okay. It's got to be over soon. Very soon. So the speeding says ended. That worked. This works. Popular. Buddhist population riots. Buddhism is still rioting. I wonder if I could spend a little bit more for religion. Crank it up to 50 there. Still got 356 there. We are in control of almost all of Chinese lands except for this last province. One more. Ch oh, and then those islands down there too. Come on, man. This has got to be over soon. Damn. Let's 
Socialist government support is growing. Well, let's add some social welfare programs then. Still looking good. How's this fight going? 4 to 18. I'm sending everybody. It's got to be over soon. Socialist Union of Mexico. Socialism is spreading. April 1913. Military intelligence says that Persia has changed readiness to partial mobilization. Civil disobedience has ended. Civil disobedience has ended. I feel like we've done well ending civil disobedience. Reject that. Three armies left versus 25. They gotta be down to like one or two armies left, I think. Steel production. I got a steel problem again. I should build more steel mills. Independent nation of Palestine discovered. Support for theology increased within the Japanese government. Ottoman Empire is requesting six gold. We can do that. Financial aid. Battle has two divisions left. What's going on with this battle? One to seven. Okay, let me see if I can find some steel on the market. Germany. <coughs> do it okay i think that's gonna be it for this episode hope you guys are enjoying again uh please leave a like if you do and feel free to comment down below uh this is a patreon request series so as you guys know uh even if it's not that popular if patreon has requested i will do my best to publish and produce and publish uh this series this series is attributed to eddie giles my Canadian friend, I hope you're having a good year so far. Uh, we just had our Thanksgiving in America, but I don't think you guys have the same Thanksgiving. I think it was a different day for that. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you guys in the next episode.